Hello YouTube, I am back, and this is my second video, unfortunately because of time I'm going to make it only about five minutes long, because if it's any longer than that it's going to take up the whole, uh, take the rest of the day to get it uploaded, and that won't be uploaded in time for me to keep my promise to you guys, have a video uploaded on the 10th. I thought the 10th was Sunday, that's when I intended to put it up, but it's actually today, so i got to do what I have to do, so I'm going to make it quick. Um, this is going to be an overview of my pit bike, and possibly some videos of wheelies and stunts towards the end. So right now, this is a Rocketta 125cc pit bike. What I've done to it, <clears throat> it's got pro taper grips, it's got these foldable clutch, uh, and brake levers that I got off Amazon for $14. That one's sticky already. It's got this mud cut, which is probably the best thing on it because it really does make a difference when you're actually hitting deep uh, mud. It works so much better than the stock air filter. It's just awesome. Um, my shifter fell off. <clears throat> when I was riding home one day, which is funny because I lost in the mud that same puddle in my last video, the crap water, and I found it in there. So I somehow found it between all the dead leaves and the animals that had died in there. But I can't find it on the sidewalk. I think somebody stole it personally, or it went away with the rain. But point being, I have a vice grip on there right now. And I'm hoping to get a new one tonight, cause I, a new shifter, because I don't want to, uh, strip out the shaft. Um, I probably need a new chain. It's tight right now, but it'll loosen up by later. <clears throat> Once I ride it a couple times, it'll be loose again, and the chain tensioner is as tight as it'll go. Now, I bet you've noticed this. Um, you know, it costs you like 50 bucks for some wheelie pegs off the internet. And I'm thinking, that's crazy. I'm not paying 50 bucks for some posts all I'm going to do is put my feet on them which is probably why my bike looks like this but well looks like I like it but some people might not it's not a classy bike um, it's just a U-bolt it's tough one on the other side as well look it'll hold me look no hands it'll hold me um, next thing new kickstart this one's thicker than the other one it's not CNC aluminum or anything but it's a lot better than the stock one. Um, obviously, I need a new plastic back right fender. I fixed the clutch. The whole time I've had this, it was broken. It would get stuck like this. It would get stuck. I wouldn't be able to uh, push it back. But what I did was I get a rigged it just like the wheelie pegs. And I um, put a spring on there from that bicycle that one day my sister's going to use the uh, kit stand and she's gonna say why doesn't it work but this is why because my clutch needs it more oh yeah and it is zip tied obviously surprisingly it hasn't melted from the heat of the motor or the exhaust which I'm very glad about I mean they're just regular zip ties but we'll see how that happens how that works out if it does eventually melt then I'll get some more zip ties Maybe some high temperature ones. Um, the only other problem is that inside here, one day I was riding, chain popped off both uh, back sprocket and front sprocket. Broke through the cheap Chinese metal that blocks the flywheel from the front sprocket right there. And broke the magneto off. And I originally held on there with foam insulator. Like, literally, foam insulator. <laughs> and it surprisingly stayed on for over six months somehow but I it ended up breaking again I put hot glue and contact cement on it and that worked it never broke but I decided I want to trust my equipment so I pulled all that off cleaned it off took some epoxy some metal epoxy put that on there and now that thing is solid like it never broke um <clears throat> yes that's about it other than this this dingle right here, I call it the dingle because if you ever look up performance gas caps on those websites that sell a bunch of basic junk pretty much, 
like just random stuff you don't need, not like junk. But they have those $30 aluminum gas tanks. I'm not going to break my gas tank. Just simple as that. But they always have these things stick out that go like that and have a thing at the end. They call it their performance ones. So in theory, this should add like 100 horsepower because it's performance now. It's just fuel line glued onto that. Um, <coughs> looks like that's all I'm, well, that's my bike pretty much. So that's all I'm going to do for today. I'm going to try and fit in some wheelie videos and some stunt jumps or the best I could do with the stuff around my house. So hope you enjoy these next few clips, guys.